And he who loses his life for my sake will find it. Verse 40 says, he who receives, you receives me. And he who receives me, receives him who sent me. And going to the book of Revelations, chapter 17, verse, go with verse 14. He says, these we will, will make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them. The Lamb will overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and kings of kings, and those who are with him are called, chosen, and faithful. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader, the hearer, and the doer of his word. I thank God for each and every one of you this morning being faithful Amen. to the Lord. Amen, somebody? Amen. We could have been doing a lot of other things this morning, but we are faithful coming to his house. Worshiping with one another. Yes. We always say, I always say that, you know, people can call you all week long, say they come to church, they'll be here, they'll be here. Right. And I thank God for the angels that's in here today. Amen. Because Amen. God does not count numbers, He makes numbers count. Amen. Amen. So you will receive your blessings on today. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm going to now turn it over to Naya for the praise and worship. Amen. Just going by the order of worship service. Or I see two up here. You want to do the welcome first? Amen. Mother. Mother. Say that again. We're going to have the welcome for you. The welcome. I'm going by your uh, worship service here. Oh, okay. Me and you got to get together on that. Oh, that. Amen. I, I got to get together. I need to be. Amen. Because I have two of them up here. But. As you come up, I just thank God for you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here this morning and it's good to see everyone out here this morning. And I thank the Lord for blessing you to come this morning. And I just want you to know that you are welcome to sing, shout, pray, and do anything that's pertaining to God's word. Not my word, not God's word. And I just want to let you know, we welcome you to Cedar Grove this morning. And you are always welcome to come to Cedar Grove and praise the Lord. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your continued support. It may not be but a few of us, but my glasses But our work and achievement shows otherwise. And remember, donations are always welcome. And let us continue to invite family, friends, and strangers to church because that is part of evangelism. Uh, do we have any business today? I see everybody here is family, so we don't need to go with it. Any birthdays for this month? Perhaps even fall. 
for God always ready to hear your call. He knows every heartache and sees every tear. A word from his lips can calm every fear. Your sorrows may linger throughout the night, but suddenly vanish by dawn's early light. The Savior is waiting somewhere above to give his grace and sing his love. May God fill your day and week with blessing. Be kind to those necessary for you, for everyone you meet is fighting some kind of battle. And that is so true. And sometimes we do forget to be kind. But today I'm asking you, strange or whatever it is, even if you think you don't like them, just be kind to them anyway. Because that's what the word says, be kind to strangers. And so everybody you meet is not going to be like you or not even feel like you. But just give them a smile. I won't say give them a hug because everybody don't like them. But just give them a smile. And God will reward you for that and reward them for accepting what you forgive them. And now it's time for He's great and he's greatly to be praised. He may he woke us up this morning. As many people didn't wake up this morning. There's a lot of things going on in this world out here, but I thank God that we're saved. Amen. 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 I'm just going to go into prayer again on uh, things that we need. Amen. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, first off, Lord, we thank you for everything that you have given us. We thank you in advance yes. Yes. for the blessings to come. Hallelujah. We ask God that you fill our spirits with your spirit, your Holy Spirit. Yes. Remove everything out of us that's not like you. Continue, Lord, to let us be the children of God that you have called us to be. Knowing that you said no man is perfect, not one, but you can give us that power to fight off every evil imp, every evil spirit that will try to attack us. Yeah. But we thank you once again for letting us come into your house to fellowship with the saints so we can be better than what we were yesterday. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. We get into the scripture. I'm going to come from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18. For as for you who have your Bibles, the good book, the basic instructions before leaving earth, to please stand to your feet as we read scripture, giving God the glory and honor. Amen. I know sometimes. If we can stand in front of the judge, if we can stand in front of man, we can sure stand for Jesus. Am I right about it? Amen. 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 Just be a few minutes. Isaiah chapter 43, starting at verse 18. Do not remember the former things considered the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now that shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road of wilderness and the rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field will honor me. The jackals and the ostriches, because I give waters in the wilderness. Because I give waters in the wilderness. And the rivers of the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless the reader, the hearer, and definitely the doer of his word. Amen. 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 You may be seated. I won't be before you long. I thank God once again for you guys getting up this morning and coming into the house of the Lord so we can do a new thing. Amen. 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 I'm going to read it again. You can be seated though. But remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, we'll do a new thing. Now it should spring forth. He says, don't you know this? I'm going to be a little transparent if it's all right. Don't you know this? Mm -hmm. That we will do a new thing. 
I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. Just wanted to speak a little bit on the history of study of human past. I just wanted to teach a little bit. I, I, I tell you guys all the time, I am a teacher of the gospel. I am not an entertainer. I will not play on your emotions. I can hoop and holler if you want me to, but I'm more of a teacher of the gospel. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. So I like to study. I like to make sure that I don't put none on and I don't take none off. Amen. But history is a study of human past. The past has left man traditions, folk tales, and works of art, and books written to record our own and our accomplishments. Historians have been recording events since the history, since the Phoenicians, and Africa invented the first alphabet. Sometimes we study the past to gain better understanding of other people and places. But the purpose of the most recorded history is to draw valuable lessons from which we can improve our own lifestyle. Yes. See, we learn it's largely determined by the accuracy and the availability of the raw data which we are exposed to. Amen. For instance, until the Advent Black History Month, our school children learn other black history when they study the plight of slavery in the South prior to the Civil War. Amen. But see, very little truth, very little truth was said and still contained in our children's textbooks about the death of slavery and pain in America. So see, it was not so bad of an idea to set aside one month, Amen. one month of a year, to concentrate on setting the record straight. Amen. But see, until the Advent Black History Month, the only information received about men and women of color by most white children Amen. living in sheltered communities with snippets of the truth about slavery and civil rights. Amen. I'm speaking on the civil rights movement because we had several civil rights things going on today. If y'all watch the news, the news is so depressing, but I have to be a part of it because of me being with the crisis response team, going out to uh, Palmdale and, and all the things that's going on with this history Amen. right now in our prime days that we still see the same things going on. Amen. But even with these sheltered communities, that's the snippets of the truth about slavery and the civil rights movement. But now no matter where you live in America, the airwaves and satellite dishes are flooded with commercials about black history that goes on far beyond the slavery and the civil rights. See, it's about time that we taught our black children that there's more to our history and our ancestry enslavement. There's yeah, yeah. more to it than that. See, black children need to know that Henry Ford bought the concept plans for the first automobile from a black man. Amen, Amen somebody? Yeah. See, the black man is credited for inventing certain things, but they're not credited for a lot of things that we have accomplished and that our ancestors have accomplished. Even like as the mouse trap, the umbrella, the, the ice cream cones for the kids, Amen. the water soda, the potato chip. But then the black man even performed the first open heart surgery. I know you guys know that you've seen the movie, but black children need to know that they're more highly and aware developed. The black empires that existed in many parts of Africa hundreds and thousands of years ago, way before the onslaught of slavery exploitation. Amen. See, an the ancestors, Hippoti, he, he was the first physician in recorded history, and he opened the first hospital in 2700 BC and carved the familiar goddesses that still recognize today as a symbol of medicine. And they even taken that away, but if you see the symbol of medicine on the, on the ambulances, they used to have a snake, and it used to be a cross and there's a snake around it. But now it's just one line with the snake around it. They've taken away the cross, but what that symbolizes was God has got so much power, even if you're bit by poison, God can still heal you. But this world is taking things away that we need to learn and know about because this world that we live in is not the world we're going to end up in. Yeah, yeah. Amen, somebody? Yeah. Amen. I say that because even then I got a chance to meet her as I did a graduation for the Los Angeles Police Department. It was a black woman. 
that invented protect and serve on the LAPD car. Amen. Can you imagine that way back then when it was still a lot of racism going on? Her husband was white, but she was a black woman, and he was in the head, but she the one that came up to protect and serve. Amen. Do they obey it? No, but I thank God it was a black woman with the mentality, protect our people and serve. Amen. See, history has a lot of purpose, but it also has its place. Yeah, yeah. See, our forward moment as people can become slowed and enslavement if we dwell too much on past accomplishments. Amen. See, it's good to reflect on accomplishments, just like the Dr. Martin Luther King, but only if they motivate and inspire us to press on. Yeah, yeah. See, dwelling too much in the past can create difference of the presence. It was seen in our past that we gained civil rights, that we've forgotten how far we still have to go. See, something needs to stir up, to stir the water up and know that we got a lot more work to do. But if we don't do it with ourselves and continue to love one another, as Mother, what Mother Wilson spoke this morning, everybody should know about love. You've got to love the people, even when they frown up at you, because we all are sinners and most love covers a multitude of sin. And you might have sinned yesterday, you might have sinned this morning, so you better to love somebody this afternoon. Amen, somebody? Amen. See, something needs to be stirred up. Yes, yes. Complacency that's overshadowed our obviously is still existing in equality. Our average income is still lower than any white counterparts. We're still in the last to be hired and the first to be fired. Our communities are still major target of illegal drug distribution. We're still rejected for bank loans. Our children still make largest percentage of jail incarceration. Too many still live in the week, living week to week. But the thing about it is, it's too many of us killing us. We still have that crab in the barrel mentality. I love it because there's too many, there's too much people with competition. When I say this is my brother, this is my brother. I can't call everybody out there. If you're a Christian, you're my brother. Amen. Amen. I'm closer to my brother here than brothers by birth. Amen. So if I say you my brother, you my brother. Amen. You my sister, you my sister. Yes. But see, there's so much competition. It's, it's people want to know more about people instead of knowing more about God. Amen. Amen. See, in our scripture today in Isaiah. It's warned of the children of Israel about dwelling too much in the past. Amen. And I say that because it's true that God had brought them and released them, released them from the bonds of slavery and set them on a new path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen, somebody? And indeed, he had called them out. He had called them and said, you are my chosen people. All of this was a part of the Israelites' cherished history. Amen. They were stuck. But you can't live in the past. History has its place. But it must be kept in its place. The Israelites were challenged not to think that their greatest victories, what the Lord do for them, were behind them. See, Isaiah's prophecy said he charged them to forget about the past and the shortcomings, past disappointments, past hurts, past relationships. Move on. See, the Lord had brought them through the Red Sea. But he was also preparing them to take them through the wilderness. See, Isaiah commanded the Israelites to look ahead and prophesy that, that God told them that we were going to do a new thing. There's too many people stuck. It's talking about how you see stuff all on the internet where the, the white man stopped me from doing this. The white man can't stop me from talking. The white man can't stop me from preaching. The white man can't stop me from going to get a job. Stop blaming all those things that happened way year, many years ago. You can't blame nobody. You got to keep going and doing what God called you to do because you are blessed and highly favored. I don't know about you, but for God to do a new thing, at Cedar Grove. We got to keep coming together. Don't just come now. Don't just come once a week or once every month, once a month to have communion. If you're here, stay here. See, sometimes God will take, and I just said this at a, a homegoing service that I just did, did last week. See, sometimes God will take people away from you yes, amen, amen. to get you closer to him. Amen. Because now we know one day is going to be our time. But how are we living our time on this earth? See, we got to stop the black-on-black -black killing. Amen. 
we move drugs out of and the homelessness and stop mentality and stability. I know right now, I know Karen Bass personally, and they still want to talk about this homelessness. They cleaned up all Figaro, they cleaned up all this homelessness, buying these old homes and putting them in there, and they still want to talk about it, but the ones that's talking they ain't doing nothing. Amen, amen. They won't even go out and give the people a sandwich. But it's our black people that comes against our black people. What they don't know, and what I do know for a fact, Amen. they use people as guinea pigs. Yes. Our black people down there, and some whites too, Caucasians, down there on Skid Road, I talk to the people, I'm part of some organizations. They don't even want housing. Amen. See, they use them as a guinea pig. We'll give you this amount of money each month if you let us test you with this drug. Amen. Same thing in the prison system. They said, okay, we'll let you out early, if you claim that you have a mental disability. Amen. And now that you claim you have a mental disability and the CDC put all this, this medication in you, now you on parole and you go in and you don't have this medication on you, now you're a parole violator because you don't have the medicine in you because you wanted to get out early. It's all a cheap trick and a setup. But it's time to act. Yes. As though we expect the desires of God to do a new thing. Yes. Amen, somebody? Amen. Yeah, it's great to have a black man in Supreme Court, but look what he just did to us. Yes. But justice is still unjust when the prisons are filled with just us. Yes. Yes. See, it's great that the Constitution gives us a right to vote, Hallelujah. but the amendment is worthless yes. if we're turned away and opposed to the senseless people Amen. for senseless reasons. Yes. I'm going to tell you this, and this is what I know, and I'm never going to speak that, things that I don't know. We was over there doing the voting polls over in the Jordan Downs. Amen. When we counted the, how many people who voted, only 2% of the whole projects voted. Hallelujah. But we want to complain yes. that there's no change. Mm -hmm. See, this is a place in our black communities that's chaos. It's full of chaos. Yes. Don't just fall for the voting cards and the votes are there not even being counted. Amen. Or we just don't vote. But we complain about the verdicts and, and, and complain why they gave our little nephews so much time. But when it's time for us to get to get them a, a, a thing to go sit on the jury, where they say we got to go do jury duty, we don't go to jury duty. So how are we gonna help our little black young brothers get out of jail and vote against these people that's trying to convict them? Amen. See, we do a lot of talking, talking loud, but ain't saying nothing. Amen. But I'm here to tell you on the day it's time to do a new thing. It's time to do a new thing. Yes. And when it comes to the church, Amen. I'm asking in the mighty name of Jesus, when it comes to the church, let's stay building Cedar Grove. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. Let's stay building Cedar Grove. I say that because it comes a time when, when we say, okay, well, we, we know we need this. We know we got to get this done. I, I, I know we can always depend on Cedar Grove's doors being open when we need something. But I'm asking you today, we need Jesus. We need God. You want to be able to say, God, well done. When you're standing in front of him, I know I'm not perfect. But Lord God, I did everything I can. I tried to make it every Sunday to church. I tried to make it to Bible study. I live a long distance. But when it's a picnic or a hood or a function going on, oh, I'm going to make that. I'm going to go to this pool party. I'm going to go to the low rider function. I'm going to go to this funeral. But when it comes to serving the Lord, you got to put in your mind, God, I put you first because I need a new thing in my life. Everything I tried, I failed. But every time I give it to you, Lord, you always show me how to get through the wilderness. But we can't forget. We can't forget. And I say that because now I know me and I speak for myself. I always put myself on blast. Amen. I'm not scared. Can't nobody with me but Jesus. Amen. I was a wretched man, but I already know now. Out of all the stuff that's going on through this week, and I be trying to keep my tame in my tongue. Amen. I can't wait to get into the church on Sunday morning. Amen. I can't wait to get in church on Sunday morning. But I'm saying that to say I want to go back to love. Yes. That love. That was spoken this morning. Amen. Amen. First, you got to love yourself. Amen. 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 Somebody says so many people that don't even, they got so much hatred yes. inside of somebody that did something to them 50 years ago. Let that go. Amen. Somebody that did something to you two days ago. Let it go. Hallelujah. 
You got to stay focused on God and say, Lord, Lord, I know that my stinking thinking, my mind was so messed up this morning. Well, that's a sin in itself because I don't care if you murdered somebody or stole a Snickers. No sin is greater than the other. But it comes a time when we have to do a new thing. Amen. We know what to do. This Bible right here. The Holy Bible stands for he only left you basic instructions Amen. before leaving earth. Amen. It's all right here. Uh -huh. But saying that to say, I'm asking. I'm asking. Amen. Personally. Amen. Let us build this church. Amen. 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 Let us build. Let us do a new thing. Amen. This church has been grounded. I'm so glad to see the brothers and sisters that was here for many, many years coming back. Amen. That's a blessing. Amen. That's a blessing. They know where they can come. They know they can come to their safe haven. Amen. Amen. But we got to keep it like that. Hallelujah. We got to build. Yes. You're known, God says, you're known by your fruit. Yes. See, we can talk a lot all day long on Facebook and Instagram, liking people's stuff, liking this. But when it comes, it's just, that's like me. I tell you, I tell the truth, shame the devil. As soon as I put up a post of my car, I get 150 likes. Amen, amen. But then as soon as I say, okay, well, God is good and God loves you, and put up a picture of Jesus, I might get 15 likes. So something's wrong. Something's wrong. But I'm going to tell you how I fix it. I get to delete, 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 delete. I'd rather have the faithful 15 than 100 fake 150 any day. Amen. Because when I need somebody to pray for me, when I fall short, yeah. I need their 15 people. Yeah. I don't need nobody praying for no car, no fame, and all this stuff they see in the streets. Amen. But I'm saying that to say, let's do a new thing. Amen. I, I, I love the scripture. I'm going back to it. Because when you think about it and you get it in your spirit, God is telling us. Yeah. He's telling us. I'm going to go way up to 17. Who brings forth the chariot and the horse, the army and the power, they shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinguished. They are quenched like the wicked. But do not remember the former things. Consider the things of old. You can consider them. But behold, I will do a new thing. And I'm asking each and every one of you, let's do a new thing. Amen. And we can start by first knowing that God wants us to do his work. Amen. Amen. I gave a message not too long ago about we what we forgot, the promises, the vows we made. We made vows to God. I said it before, or some of us have been in a place where we had been up in the club and we got out and we drank so much and got so loaded where we were standing out, our heads were spinning, spinning and spinning and spinning. Lord, oh Lord, if you take these spins away out of my head, I guarantee you I won't drink no more. And two days later, y'all know, that's personal. Amen. Y'all know, and I tell you, I tell the truth, shame the devil. Because I did it. Amen. But I ain't doing it no more. Hallelujah. Because it's a new thing. God has built us the creation. I was looking at the, this thing where they say, do, do gangsters go to heaven? Mm. No, gangsters don't go to heaven. Because he said, you have to have a renewing of the mind. Amen. Yeah, was you a gangster? Yes, you was a gangster. But now you're a gangster for Christ. Amen. You're a man of God. So that new, that man mentality that you had years ago, that you was taught, that you grew up with, God has changed you. Amen. And now that he's changed you, now you've got the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And that's what we have to keep in mind. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, thank you. for the old. Thank you. I thank you yes. for renewing our minds. Amen. Yes, some of us have been taught the wrong way. Amen, amen. But that's the one teachers that didn't know any better. Amen. But I'm glad, Lord, that you gave us the infallible, unadulterated word yes, yes. of teaching. Amen. We know in your Bible, Lord, that you teach us about everything. Yes. Life, amen. how to eat, yes. marriage, yes. relationships, friendships, brotherhood, church. Yes. 
everything we need to know you have put in front of our face and I ask God in the name of Jesus that you let us read your word from Genesis to Revelations so we can be taught the right way so we can go out and teach the right way to live in a better world and of all these things Lord that's going on in this world I remove it out of me because it can get so overwhelming but I know you said those who are called by your name will turn from their wicked ways turn from their wicked ways and confess and pray that you will hear from heaven and heal our land and we're asking for a healing on today in the mighty name of Jesus I pray let everyone say amen and amen. amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. I hope you receive that message on today. I'm asking that we just do a new thing. Let's build some Cedar Grove. Let's continue to do the work. Let's, let's build ourselves. Amen. Amen. And as we build ourselves, then we're able to build God's church. Amen. And I say it because, you know, the people that I deal with and the intervention thing, they always say, well, God knows my heart and God, you know, and the church is in me and, and all that. <laughs> but the thing about it is, that's the universal church. Amen. But we need to build a local assembly church. Amen. Amen. And when you say he knows your heart and you say the church is in you, well, your temple needs cleaning. Amen. Just like he cleaned the temple when it was time, when they was doing things they weren't supposed to do. But once again, I thank God for each and every you, each and every one of you coming this morning. Let's hold on to the word. Let's do a new thing. Amen. It's a beautiful thing to have history, but we can't have that slave mentality no more. Amen. Amen, somebody. Let's do a new thing. Let's have the mentality of God, Jesus to Christ. Yes. And he will lead us to direct our path. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise as we receive Mother Wilson. Amen. And I want to pray before Mother Wilson comes up around the tither. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you put it on the tither's heart. Knowing, oh God, that you will bless those who give. You know, Lord, that I'm a transparent pastor, but I also know what you put in my spirit. We want to just give you a little and expect a lot from you. We know, Lord, that some people tithe and go out and spend hundreds of dollars on alcohol and give you five dollars. So we know that they tie them to the devil. But I'm asking God that you put it in their hearts to tie to you so they can continue to receive the blessings that you have for them. And it might not be monetary. It could just be in their health, their children's health, their grandchildren's health, keeping a roof over their head, keeping the food on the table. But bless them, Lord. Touch their hearts. Nor that they sow and seed on good ground. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 